sausage, Guy Benary. You can introduce yourself. No, it's fine. Okay. Well, this is the living screen, and what's happening here is that it's um, it's a movie that's alive. It's alive. Why? Because the screen is alive. So what we have is a movie projected through from the data projector through a series of lenses onto the screen. The screen in this particular instance is a cornea, a fish cornea. So, and in the fish cornea we have human sperm. Projected onto this living screen is an experimental movie, an experimental movie to blow your mind. The movie that we are projecting on the living screen is microscopic. The size or the frame size of the um, um, this movie is around 300 um, microns square. In every exhibition we change the screen, you know, we projected movies on cornea, sperm, blood, blood tissue, sk skin, skin cells, cells. Yeah. and we find the semen very interesting because there's movement. And usually when you look down the microscope you don't see movement of biological material, even though it's alive. With semen it's, it's great and blood as well because there's movement and which makes people understand and realize that the screen is alive. Mm. But here, a one minute movie on a loop on a, on a screen that is alive and we stand around, we uh, kind of like, you know, provoke a, quite an intense relationship with the screen because we run, remind you that all that the screen is alive, it's also dying. So how does that kind of change your relationship with the film when you're watching a film when you know that the screen is alive but it's also dying? Big, deep, dark questions. But ones that will make you go home and live authentically, live like there's no tomorrow.